Hi guys, welcome on my virtual machine. This is not up to date, I guess. Maybe yesterday I booted, I don't know. Not that long ago, but as you can see, there is already a new kernel in, and that's typically Arch Linux. We get, we get a lot of kernels in. And then, you know, you need to reboot. Topic of this video is um, a message message you get when you type update grub an update grub maybe let's use the time it's updating anyway right an alias we have plenty of aliases so go and have a look what this does it's all in the bash rc it's a hidden file it's called the dot bash rc so it's just in your home directory you can actually quickly find it with the control h various so edit this thing start reading it start learning these uh, special things and there is the update grub where are you here you are so this line is a shortcut or an, an, a short way to type all this in sudo grub make configuration and the output goes to boot grub grub cfg okay so that's update grub that's what we're talking about it's going to make the screen when you boot up you get these one two three lines sometimes four lines depends right you get these lines to choose what shall i boot from which kernel or maybe from windows or from linux now the topic of the video is this so depending on the things that run on your machine when you update your system you sometimes get this warning os prober will not be executed to detect other bootable partitions systems on them will not be added to the grub boot configuration so as i understand it and i'm not a dual booter right i always say and that's our advice just keep one operating system per hard disk per ssd and that will really be alive without frustration but i do understand why you're putting windows and linux together so the way i read this hmm, warning os prober will not be executed to detect other bootable partitions since systems on them will not be added to the grub boot configuration there were some reports online people saying um i can't see my my um, boot up screen anymore my, my grub or whatever it may be related i don't recall the exact phrasing that i used it might be related to the fact that well grub doesn't see windows anymore it just sees linux at this point in time so that's how i read it now on our system that will give in july will change already this this extra sentence that's now new because grub has been updated and maybe we can still see it in rip so now you know another small um, alias rip and you scroll up and you can see elements that have been updated and maybe we come across a grub or maybe not but this has been changed updated voila and we just need to follow everything so what should you do it's already documented on the forum etc and then we go to default where are your default default grub right mouse click open with sublime text best editor for you because it allows you to write and safe at a place where you shouldn't be say right so this needs extra lines it says exactly what you need to do but i'm not sure unless i look neo fetch i am in urxvt and i guess Control c Control v oh yeah i can copy paste already so we'll fix that for you guys urxvt because i want to copy paste this so I don't make typos, Control shift c and here Control v And there are two things. Either I say, do you want to disable OS Prober? True, right? In the case that I have only one operating system in my virtual box. So true, I don't want OS Prober to have a look are there other partitions with other operating systems. Or in the case that I have indeed something else besides our Arch Linux distribution then you say grub disable false which means disabled is false which means it's enabled right 
it's always uh, complex sometimes. You have to read it the way, yeah, the programmer written it. Grub disable OS Pro, no, we don't want it to disable. So this will be the default setting from now on uh, when we make our ISOs, the default grub. So that's it basically guys, um, nothing more to say than just do another update grub and have a look. Now the lines will be this, it will still contain a warning, but you know what it's doing, it's really looking with OS Prover is it installed yes we'll put it on the machines because we do know that people will eventually dual boot so OS Prover there it is so it is installed on our machines even though we are users of Linux point nothing else all right I'm out so you know what to do if you want to have um, a checkup for the other partitions, other operating systems, you do, you add this line and you type update grub. All right. So that's the last thing. After changing this, you type this thing in and that's it. All right. I'm out. Cheers.